Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, we're still working on our retirement account uh, planning using the bucket method. So in the previous video, we figured out what our annual cost of living was going to be and our needed annual income from the retirement accounts. And we also figured out the, uh, the, the rough quantities or uh, values that are going to be within each of our three buckets based on the retirement fund. So let's go ahead and set up our bucket profiles. Now we're going to be keeping track of uh, some different pieces of data here. Let's see, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to put over here, I'm going to do a little merge and center action and we'll keep track of the year. And then I'm going to also do Immersion Center for return. However, I don't think I'll probably get to what we're going to use the return for in this video. It could be in the next one. Year is going to be pretty easy. Now, I always like to start, out, start off with a year zero. That's going to be the year before retirement, so we can keep put in all of our balances in and there. And then we'll have years one, two. Now, of course, this is going to be different for everybody, but I'm going to select the one and the two, and I'm going to fill downward and uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll do 30 years. Now off to the side, I'm gonna do immersion center here. And this is gonna be for bucket one, and then alt enter, cash. So that we can easily see that. I'm gonna make that font a little bit smaller and I'll make that cell a little bit taller. And there we go. Now for bucket one and our other buckets in a way, Let's see, we need to keep track of the amount that we draw, the amount that we replenish, and the changing balance. Okay, so our bucket one is gonna have these three little subcategories. Now, my next one's gonna be pretty darn similar, but that's gonna be our bucket two, and that'll be the conservative, and this is gonna be bucket three, which is gonna be our growth account. Now for the growth account, technically, let me uh, get rid of Merge and Center real quick. For the growth account, technically, we don't even need the replenish because our growth account, our long-term savings, that's not gonna, we're not gonna be adding to that after retirement. That's there to hold the big, the big amount for retirement, but we'll be replenishing these other short-term accounts. Excellent. I think I'll take a quick second and just kind of clean up some of these columns and add some borders and stuff like that. There we go. So just a few little border lines in there. In fact, I'll go to view and let's get rid of the grid lines as well. Home. There we go. So now we've got a little bit prettier to look at our data. So let's go ahead and start off with bucket number one. See how that's going to work. In year zero, there's actually not going to be a draw. But in our first year of retirement, there is going to be a draw. And that's going to be equal to our needed annual income. We're going to be drawing that money out of our checking short-term savings in order to take care of those expenses. Now for the next draw in year two, that's gonna be equal to the previous year's draw multiplied by one plus our inflation rate. There we go. So the next year, we're gonna to have to draw a little bit more. Now once we have that value, we can head over there and click on our, uh, our fill handle and I can't double click it there, so I'll just drag that one down to my 30 years of retirement. Now, of course, when we see those hashtags, it's just a little bit too big. So I think what I will do here, in fact, I'll select all of these cells and I'll make my font just a little bit smaller so everything fits in there nicely. Ah, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use an absolute reference here. So instead of B3, that should be, there we go, absolute reference for B3 because that's where my inflation rate is take care of that one. Now that that one's fixed up, I should be able to auto fill down. Ah, that's better. Okay, so now we know what our draws are. For the replenish, I'm going to kind of, actually no, we can do this. For replenish, replenish is going to be equivalent to the draw from bucket two. So, should be able to double click that fill handle, take care of that. Now for the balance, our starting balance is going to be equal to our bucket one cash amount. Perfect. Now in the first year of retirement, that's where we really get to year one, we're going to do equals our previous year's balance multiplied by one, ooh, you know what? 
we need to have a growth rate in here. So let's press escape there and figure this one out. Even though our bucket one cash is, you know, could just be in a plain old checking account, there could be a slight return on here. So let's figure out something like this. Um, I think what I'll do is right off to the side here, let me insert a column. And I'm going to put in some expected returns here. So for my bucket one return, I'm going to expect to get 0.5%. And for bucket two, I'm going to say I'm going to get 5%. And for bucket three, I'm going to get 11%. Now, of course, I need to format all of these as percents. And let's add a decimal place. Cool. So now we can really factor this in. So now our year one balance, that's going to be equal to our previous year's balance plus our previous year's balance multiplied by that small 0.5% yield. Let's make that absolute. There we go. Plus any replenishing. Actually, let's do the minus first. Minus any draw plus any replenishing. So check that formula out because we're going to use it a couple more times in a way. Um, it's my previous balance plus my previous balance times the return, the annual return, minus the draw plus any replenishing that we do. So there we go. And now I'll just double click that fill handle, bring that down. Don't worry about those negatives. We're going to clean that up in the next video because what's going to happen is we're going to create our bucket two values. And as we draw money out of bucket two, we will be replenishing bucket one. Obviously, we never want to see a negative in any of our accounts. So let's pick that up in the next vid. Thanks.